Welcome back to Show Me St. Louis. We are live from downtown, Dogtown for the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade. Now you know her as your go-to for must-dos. And our very own Mary Cartwrighter has another destination to cross off that St. Pat's Day bucket list right down the road from us. Mary, tell us, tell us all about it. Oh, that's right, Malik. The Pat Connolly Tavern is a long-standing tradition for many in the St. Louis community, and now the Connolly family is passing the torch, but before they do, they have one last party in them. Take a look. It is one of the oldest continuing operating bars in St. Louis, and we believe the oldest Irish bar in St. Louis. You might know it as Dogtown's old school Irish bar, but for the Connolly family, it goes beyond your usual pint of Guinness. So during the summers, my mother was working, we had to come with her, and what we would do is go over across the street and play in the playground, then come over here for lunch and go back to the playground. In 1942, Pat Connolly opened the Pat Connolly Tavern. His first barkeep career started as a way to support his family. He came over here as an immigrant. He's from uh, County Galway, Ireland, a small town, Dunmore, because he had to make money and send it back home. But with his hard work, he would come in the morning and open up, and then after lunch, he would go home, take a nap. Then he'd get up around four and come back down here and work until closing. The tavern took off, becoming a St. Louis landmark for over 75 years now and staying in the family for nearly all of those decades. In 1980, Pat's daughter, Teresa Connolly, took over the business alongside her husband, Paul Jovanovich. He would be uh, impressed. I'm sure <laughs> he would be impressed because he never thought it would last that long. And the hard work did keep paying off. It was not long until the tradition was passed on to Teresa's son, who is now behind what Pat's is today. When I was growing up as a kid, a lot of, spent a lot of time here. By the time I was in middle school, was working here as a busboy and washing dishes. For Joe Jovanovich, it is not only the legacy of Pat, but his late father, Paul, too. That's my main memory of my dad growing up, is him here. And not just him working a lot, but he had a lot of fans. He was such a genuine and friendly uh, and funny uh, person. Three different generations working toward the same goal. Honoring the past um, and honoring, you know, the legacy of what Pat Connolly built, honoring the memory of seeing my own mom and dad run the place when I was a kid, but then also wanting to, you know, make our own mark on it, too. It's been around a long time, so you've got some people coming here who have came here 50 years ago when they were kids, but then you've got some little kids coming in here with younger parents who had just moved to the neighborhood a year ago. Decades in business and the menu still has its favorites of fried chicken, fish and chips, burgers, but also new items as well, like the crispy chicken sandwich. Oh, 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 oh. All right, here we go, big bite. Mm. Oh, that's good. Over 75 years, and the tavern is now being passed on to a new owner. But the Connollys still have one last party in them this St. Patrick's Day. We will go through many kegs of Guinness on St. Patrick's Day. We will go through many bottles of Jameson and many bottles of, of Bud Light. Um, it's a big day. Uh, we are so excited to have the chance to, uh, to do another one, which, you know, our last one. And while this chapter is coming to a close, they have hope that this Dogtown Bar's legacy will carry on. And keep it going. I hope, you know, I hope we can make it 200 years and beyond. And you can find all that information right there on your screen. The party's going all night here at the Pat Connolly Tavern, but also all morning. I am joined this morning. We have Greg, Greg and his posse. All right, Greg, how long have you been out here? Uh, yeah, so for about an hour or so now. For an hour or so? Is the day just getting started? That's the understatement. That's an understatement. <laughs> okay, Greg, I automatically noticed your get up here. You are a Care Bear. Yeah, I'm, I, I guess I'm the uh, four-leaf clover Care Bear, whatever his name is. Like, 
It's like an 80s thing. I don't remember. So I remember from my memories because I'm like an old, like like a really, really old millennial. So I watched a lot of that. <laughs> and now you said this is your second year now wearing the Care Bear costume. Yeah. Brought it back out. Yeah, exactly. But this is a big day for you. You've gone to many of the Dogtown parades. Uh, yeah, I, I think I've like come to about seven of these. Like this is like the seventh year in a row. So I generally like St. Patrick's Day, I like take the week off. But me and the GF went to Maui like a month back, so I'm only allotted so much vacation a year. So, <laughs> so I took Thursday and Friday off. So okay, so you're here, you're out here celebrating. Are you going to be stopping into Pat Connolly Tavern? Uh, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know yet. So we just got here about an hour ago, so I don't know yet. So. Okay. How's the energy over here? How are we feeling? Yeah. We're ready for the parade? Yeah! yeah. I want some beads. Oh, they're, they're, they're not doing beads okay. anymore. All right. And I heard the blues are playing. Oh, yeah. uh, sure. Yeah, let's go blues! Yeah. All right. Whether it is for the blues or for St. Patrick's Day, the people are out here and they're excited, to say the least. We have more show with me, St. Louis, coming up after the break.